Praise the Lord, praise the Lord to all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to welcome you. I just want to tell you that I appreciate you. And I thank you for being here today. Now today, I'm going to give you a prophetic word. Again, my name is Dr. PJ from the prophetic word. And the prophetic word is, Father God, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. We pray today, like all the wickedness that we see happening in this nation, all the bloodshed and the drive-by shooting in this spiritual warfare, all the wickedness that you see overseas happening in Ukraine, all the homes and the young babies that are being slaughtered in the street of America and overseas, Father God, we are in a war. And I want to read from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places, saith the Lord. And also, I'm going to read from the book of Jeremiah chapter 79. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? See, man's heart. It's wicked. It plots. It conjure. It casts spells. It it premeditate and it murder. So we dealing with mass murderers. We dealing with all the wickedness that we see. We dealing with nephilians. Why there is so much carnage? Didn't see it ten years ago. Didn't see it seven years ago. But we seeing it now. We are living through this carnage right now. So I want to share the word of God to encourage you. God said he will put the wickedness of the wicked to an end. He does not deny it in it, but he said he got to put the wickedness. He got to put a stop to the wickedness because it's too much innocent blood. It's too much innocent blood being shed in America. It's too much innocent blood being shed overseas. And we pray from Psalm 55 verse 15. Let the dead cease upon them and let them go down quick into hell. For wickedness is in your dwellings and among them. The evil gatherings of our enemies against our our, our lives against our children life in our community father god we pray father god that you will ban and cast down and put an end to the wickedness of the wicked the wickedness of the wicked must come to an end father we bind them from the north the south the east and the west we bind every plan that they are plan and control against us every lie of the enemy because in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 19, the does say the Lord, dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place, give place on don't give, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine and I will repay, say the Lord. I've seen the wicked who came up against me no more. I've seen the wickedness that people done to me. I see it no more. In the book of Ezekiel 33, verse 11 to close out. Say unto them, as I live, say the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why? Will ye die, O Israel? And again, this is a word for today. Father God, put an end to the wickedness of the wicked. Amen. Be encouraged. May the Lord give you favor in everything that you do. Again, this is a prophetic word. My name is Dr. PJ. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.